Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel. In, uh, in our Telix FRP series, today we are going to learn how to check in extensions as well as package into the EPO so that we can start using our Telix product and I mean I can demonstrate Telix FRP to you. But guys, before we start, let's have one quick a small intro video and then we'll start. Welcome back guys. So friends, very first let me log in into the EPO so that I can demonstrate that what other things are configured currently on my EPO server. So for that, let's click on sign in button and here we go. If I go to the extensions, let me go there and show you that currently FRP is not installed into my this EPO console. I could see there is no FRP available. Now to download and install FRP extension and package, there is a two options. The the easiest one is you just have to go to the software catalog which is available under the menu and here you can select your FRP product. And to check that you just simply have to scroll down and here we go. This is the FRP product. So you have option that you can check in directly from here. But due to the network consistency, so I don't recommend downloading FRP package directly from this option and FRP is supported for Windows as well as Mac OS okay so you can see the version here the second one is for the Mac and the first one is for the Windows but right now we don't have Mac environment so I'm not going to check in Mac package okay so the you know the preferred way uh, which I personally refer that is downloading software from directly download center so for that let me search Telix product download and click on the very first link in my products login under uh, you know access your product and patches you will have to enter your grant number as well as the email address which is associated with your grant number and simply click on submit so that you will get the access of our packages which is license and here we go the page has been opened so from left side let me select endpoint security and I guess we'll have to go to the next page here you go as you could see I'm currently you know checking the latest version now to install the in case if you need older version then you just have to untick this okay but right now we are going with the latest version so let me open telix file and removal media protection and here is the complete package like other software we don't have to download the you know the, the extension package separately separately because everything is included into this particular package so let's click on that so that our download will get started automatically so it started downloading let me open my download folder let's go to the download now this is the package which I'm talking about so let's extract that extract and done let me close that download page screen because we don't require that anymore and here we'll go to the extensions okay let me open the uh, this download package one more time and here two of our folders are available one is client which means uh, our actual package and second is extension so in extensions we have to import this one so guys let's browse this particular package uh, i mean extensions into our epo for that let's click on install extension choose file and let me paste the path of our recent download package so here we go under download right so select the extensions and click on ok again ok EEFF that is fine click on ok the version is 5.4.4.169 guys I am bit of a sick so you may find my voice little bit of no a different so just ignore that ok our extension has been imported let's check here yeah it's got added file and removal media protection now similar way we'll have to you know uh, if you just go to the menu then you will see the couple of options have now right now added like yaprp keys yaprp recovery yaprp user action like this okay now let's go to our main repository here we go and uh, let's go back here and we'll go to the client so this package is for the mac operating system and the first one is for the windows so we'll check a uh, check in windows package okay guys for that let's click on check in choose file and then windows package click on open next and save 5.4.4.169 and here we go file and removal media protection 
i dot pro dot pro 169 so guys basically this is how you know you can check in your fr package into our epo console and if i go to the policies now then as you could see i have got one more option that is file and removal media protection so there is a lots of policy available so and we are going to you know learn everything in very much detail okay so make sure you subscribe to my channel and you know turn on the bell icon so that whenever i next time upload the video you will be automatically getting notified and i can assure you that we'll end this series very soon uh, with all the knowledge okay so that's it in this video if you found this video useful then please give me a thumbs up and share your feedback question queries whatever you have in comment section of this video and in next video we'll see how exactly we can configure our client task catalog and the best way to deploy agent on the mandatory machines so now i guess let's end here because i don't want to make this video too long